Good morning. It is Monday, September 23rd, and fall has officially arrived. Coming at you live here from GFS Calgary. Denise here with Alex. Good morning. Good morning. And we're going to start off with some blueberries. Um, these are actually Canadian. And um, we have some, some of the berries are transitioning right now, and these yeah. ones are in Canada right now. Blueberries have been sliding a little bit. These are a little uh, smaller and a little softer. These ones aren't too, too soft, though. They're and not they're too bad. Small and a little bit tart. Yeah. Uh, but still uh, quite nice. Mm -hmm. And Canadian. And Canadian. And Canadian. And the blackberries are from the U.S. Yes, and they're looking really good right these now. These are looking beautiful. It seems to be that one goes out and one comes in kind of. Nice. Yeah, these are quite gorgeous. Yeah. Um, no juicing. No. And no bruising. Yeah, Lovely color. Yeah. And on to our raspberries. They're a little darker, but uh, overall no juicing yet or anything like that. So Nope, they're still nice and firm. Yeah, I just check the moisture pad occasionally there for excess bleeding. And the darkness comes from? Anthocyanins. Okay. And Actually more vitamins, it's just it, uh, it causes them to decay faster. Okay, so keep your raspberries a little short on the shelf life. And here we have our variety pack, apples, <clears throat> oranges, and pears. And if you're at school, doesn't wants to have a variety and uh, doesn't want too much inventory, this would be a perfect pack for you. Mm -hmm. They keep a long time too. So. so we have a Gala, a Red Delicious, a Granny Smith, a Bartlett Pear, and I believe a Valencia Orange. And that would be seasonal. Valencias are the best juicing orange. That be it. And on to our pineapple. Yeah, and we've gone over this before, but uh, I'll go over it again. Uh, we're checking for mold. that It starts to run up the side. That's a bad sign. That means they're getting a little old. There's usually a little spotting us at the cut mark, but there's nothing there. And we like to pull a few out just to you go on down the inside. And when, they're, when they come out with ease like that, that means you're ready to eat them now. They're okay, ready to eat. Yummy pineapple. And mm -hmm. on to the butter leaf from Red Hat. So this was, a, we did show a 12 pack of living. We do not have a code for it yet. So we are serving you up the 24 pack. It is non-living, but it is really quite beautiful. It's the best I've seen in a long time, actually. It's uh, there's zero tip burn. There's no detriment at the base yet. It's all a really good color. It's thick. Yeah, the leaves are really quite really nice. Really full, yeah. And that's your 24 pack from Red Hat. For your code, just contact your DSR. And here we have some fall vegetables. We These have are some our leeks. leeks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just checking for any dark striping, usually, or any mold. Make sure they're not leaking. Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and these are great for potato leek soup or to put in some with some braising. And here we have our anise or our sweet fennel. Fennel. Lovely uh, again for uh, soups, um, braising, and uh, and also a nice garnish. Mhm. Mm these start to get a little darker up at the top, a little softer. Well, now you might get some spotting down here. It's usually not even that big of a deal yet. Like there's a little spot there. Yeah, that's nothing. That's not, that's just a field mark. Yeah. And here we have some... Butternut. Butternut squash. And this is our part of our Ready, Set, Serve line. This is already chopped and diced for you. Mm -hmm. Peeled. And we just, we, we give them a little squeeze, you know. Just uh, make sure they're still nice and firm because they'll start to burst on you. That's a bad sign. Yeah, these aren't even close to bursting. No, they're still really good. It, it holds really well, too. So if you want to save some time and labor, that is the butternut squash for you. And we also have some potatoes. Pretty much the same rules you're checking, except you're going to check for more oxidization. They'll start to darken up a bit. And there's going to be some milkiness in the bag. You don't want too much, but that's just the starches that naturally run out of the potato. And you do want starch in your potatoes. You do want some starch <laughs> in your potatoes. So these can be great for a soup or a hash brown. And here's our diced onions. And you just check them for discoloration. They'll start to turn really clear. And they start to gas up a lot too. So the bag will puff out. And these are good. Oh yeah. Looking really nice. And on to our roast vegetable mix. This is great for banquets, weddings, anything in larger functions where you want a variety and you don't have a lot of time to chop. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, they'll start spotting. 
that's what we look for usually. And uh, again, with the with the squash, she'll give it a squeeze. But it holds really yeah, well all together. Good. And these are a stocked item. Two three pound bag. That's it. And on to our red. red diced onion. And it's the same thing, really. It's just uh, you're checking for clearness occasionally. So the red onions will go clearer. Yeah, yeah. The the yellow or the white will start turning a little more yellow. And the red will go white. There you go. And on to some salsa kits. These are JIT items. Um, so we have two tomato salsa kits. We have a tomato jicama and a tomato roma classic so this will come with two jalapenos in the bag those are the only things you'll have to chop um, better to leave them whole so they don't break down and then the jicama comes with onion and jicama and tomato and then we have a pineapple pepper and a pineapple jicama uh, so the pepper comes with the carrots the diced red onion pineapple and red pepper and then the pineapple jicama comes with the pineapple, jicama, green onion, carrot, and some red pepper. And the pineapple salsa kits come in a two pound box. They are JIT items, so please ask your DSR for any info you might want on our salsa kits. Thanks for joining us this week, and we'll see you next week.